Hi everyone, welcome again. In this video, we will understand a bit more about class loading in Spring. We know that when we provide a configuration to Spring container, it initializes the IOC container and it also initializes the classes. But when does it create the new objects of those classes? At what point can we say that uh, the new objects are there in the Spring context? So let's see. In this example, in the main method, we are simply creating the application context and we have commented everything else. And as far as classes are concerned, what I did, I have added a constructor, a default constructor in all the classes with a log message. So now if we run this main program where we are only instantiating the application context, So we see that application context was initialized, but we also see the messages from the constructors of all these classes. So we see the message from the user DAO, then post construct as well. Similarly, constructor messages from the request handler and user service. Now, important thing is that we only instantiated the application context. We did not ask for any object like this. So that means whenever we are starting up the application, when the spring context is being initialized, application context I mean, at that point of time it reads the configuration and it creates the new objects of all the beans and it also caches those objects so that later at a later point of time whenever we ask for the object of any class from the spring context like this, it simply returns the stored object. So it doesn't have to create a new object at that point of time unless the scope of that bean is prototype. So this is the default behavior. As soon as we create the application context, Spring will create and cache new objects of all those beans. And that's why we see the constructors of these classes being called at startup time. Now this type of loading is called eager loading because Spring is eagerly initializing all the beans in scope. What is the lazy loading? The lazy loading is basically when we tell Spring to not load a class eagerly at startup time. So Spring will initialize the Spring context but it will not create the object of those classes. Spring will create a new object of a class only when we ask for the new object. So that is lazy loading. So how do we configure the lazy loading? Let's see that. So let's say we want the user service to be lazily loaded. So what we can do there is an annotation for that at the rate lazy. We can use the lazy annotation. We can annotate a bean with at the rate lazy annotation. And if we an use this annotation on a class, that means we want the lazy loading for that class. In that case, when spring context is being initialized, it will see that it has to manage this class because it is also annotated with at the rate service. But because it will also see the lazy annotation, so Spring Container will not create a new object of user service at that point of time. It will simply hold a pointer, kind of pointer that yes, I have to create a new object, but only when, when I'm being asked for it. Alright. Now that we have used at the rate lazy annotation on this class, this time if we run the main program again, We still see the messages from the user DAO and request handler, but not from the user service. Now this is called lazy loading because Spring did not create or Spring did not load this class at startup time. It will create a new object when we will ask for it. So if in the runner class for the user service, I say something like this that give me the object of user service at this point of time it will create the new object so we will see the message constructor message for user service at this point of time so let me add a separator here so 
so we see all these constructor messages from the classes which were loaded eagerly and after application context loading is finished we see this message on the console and the constructor message from the user service after this separator when we actually called the getbean method on the application context so this class is now being lazy initialized the initialization is deferred to the point when the user or the code will explicitly ask for the object so we saw two modes of loading eager and lazy and we saw how to use at the rate lazy annotation on a class now we may think that it must be lazy by default why create new objects at the startup time when we don't need it but in reality in modern applications 99% uh, times all the beans are eagerly configured which is the default setting so whenever we are starting the application it initializes all the beans now with eager loading which is the default setting it might happen or it might look like the, that the application startup time will increase because it has to initialize all the beans but it doesn't happen in general there may be slight impact maybe in milliseconds but the benefit of using the eager loading is that if there is any error any anything wrong with one of the class loadings we will get the error right away at startup time we don't have to wait when we actually call the new object of that class for example so we get all the errors immediately and we can just simply check the error we can correct it and start the server again so that is the main benefit of the default setting and that's why people mostly use eager loading not the lazy loading unless of course it depends on the use case so that's it for this video thanks for watching